I was born and raised in Kentucky, educated here. I went to University of Kentucky undergraduate, political science major, uh, double minor in psychology, sociology. I was pre-law, preparing to go, and my goal was to work for legal aid and eventually run for office and, and try to make the world a better place. And I went back, I took all the prerequisites for medical school in one year. Applied to medical school, went to medical school. I have loved, loved practicing medicine. I've practiced medicine now for, I think, like it's 33 years. And um, it was about five years ago. I realized that I was at the point in my life where I could go back and do what it was that I had wanted to do from the beginning. What I hope, what I'm doing right now, I am listening, I am learning, I am studying the legislation that's being brought forward, talking to people, trying to figure out what's the good, what's the bad, is this, what's the motivation? You know, what is behind this and why are we moving towards this? What, what I would like to see happen, like if I have my own world, <laughs> what we would do when we get up here we would put aside the fact that we're Democrats, put aside the fact that we're Republicans, get together, all be Kentuckians, all be advocates for this state and what this state needs. You can't make a productive life for yourself if you don't have basic housing and food and health care and education and jobs. And I guess that's really where I am. One of the things that we're seeing you know, I mean, everybody knows this is just a tremendous increase in gun violence. So, where in you know the early '90s, for me to get a penetrating injury, it just didn't happen very often. And then, you know, when I was running back in 2018, the statistics were, on average, University of Louisville got one gunshot wound a day. Um, I haven't actually checked the numbers, but I am sure that we are, on average at least up to three a day. We're getting at university, we're getting 14, 15, 16 year olds almost daily now. And I wanna know where they get in access to these guns and how do we stop minor children from getting a hold of guns. Equal access to quality health care is, is a basic standard that we do not have in this country. There's societal issues that you, you get to see in part when you're practicing medicine, but you don't get to impact them. Drug abuse, which is so much of what we do. Violent crime. It was about five years ago. I, um, I just decided, you know, people of goodwill, people who care about people, people who care about our democracy, just need to stand up, need to run for office, need to get elected and need to start sitting at the table where these discussions are happening. That's why I'm here.